We're joined now by someone who definitely understands how to read a budget, former biotech entrepreneur, and now, of course, 2024 presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek, your reaction to this deal? I think it is a positive step forward, but I think it's premature to celebrate too much. Steve, you don't talk about funding for the IRS. It was 80 billion. It came down to 78 billion instead. So I think this was a victory. It was an incremental victory. We need to recognize that for what it was. This is just the first step of if the Republicans take control of the White House and the Senate, what we're going to do is actually shut down the administrative state. That's really where the keys to the kingdom are. This is a small step along the way. So I'll give Kevin McCarthy credit for that. But I don't want to celebrate too much. Well, it's very funny you should say that because I've got a few thoughts on that exact point coming up just in a moment. But Vivek, you know, th there's a reality. This is now uh, the legislative text is going to be put together. We're going to see it soon. It's going to go to the Congress. Um, do you think Republican members of Congress should vote for the agreement that we've seen over the past 24 hours? Look, this is going to be controversial to some, Steve. If I were in their shoes, I would press further. I don't think this squeezed the lemon hard enough. I think we need to change the appropriation language altogether in the entire process to actually say, instead of saying shall spend, we need to go back to saying mm -hmm. may spend. Actually, puts, I'm thinking about this. If I'm the next U.S. president, I don't want my hands tied to be able to shut down government agencies that should not exist. So though I give Kevin McCarthy credit, I personally would be on the side of saying we need to go further if we actually want to rectify the ship. But if it's if it if you can't, I mean, look, they, they, there'll be a couple of days, I think, for them to negotiate in Congress, the possibility of a small amount of amendments. But as it stands, it sounds like you'd be a no on this. I would be if I were in their shoes. And I think that that's that's a position that's different than most Republicans. I believe it is going to pass. But, Steve, I think we got to think on the timescales of history, not on the timescales yeah. of quarterly earnings reports or two year election cycles. So that's where I'd be as I'd push for far more dramatic spending cuts and cuts to the administrative state. That's where the cancer begins. Well, um, I think that is very much in line with my thinking. A lot of people watching tonight, we appreciate uh, you being so clear about that. Thank you, Vivek. We'll see you a bit later on for a broader conversation about the 2024 race.